In this tutorial, we will be looking at adding page sort to an eForms project. For this example, we will be referencing the sample statement project, which is included with the default installation of eForms. First, we will open the sample statement project file located in the Minisoft eForm 6 projects sample folder. A bit of a mouthful, but to open that project, select File, Open Project, and we can navigate to it, Minisoft, eForm 6, Projects, followed by Sample. And at the very bottom, you see sampstm.efz. Let's open that. And that is our sample statement project, and it will display in the eForms Composer. Next, we need to create a variable associated with a specific field within our data file, which we will reference as our sort key. We're going to reference the account number, and to do that, simply left-click and drag, right-click, and select Add Variable. And let's name this account number. That's easy enough to remember. And select the Copy Original Data to Output checkbox so as to maintain the original location of this field. And select OK. Now that we've added this variable, we simply need to reference it in the Sort tab of the Project Properties. And over here in our Project window on the left, select the top line, and that's our project name. Right-click, and select Properties, Sort. In the Sort tab, the Project Properties will display. On the right hand side, select the New button. And we want to select the By Variable Radio button. And on the key for Sample Statement drop down menu, select the account number variable we created earlier. And let's sort our statement in descending order. And select OK. And select OK once more. And we have our sort in place. To test this, we're going to need to save our project, and we can do that in one of two ways. We can select the Save Project icon, or we can do it the old-fashioned way, File, Save Project. And after that, from the main menu, select Run, followed by Output, and let's name it Sample. That's easy enough to remember. And select Save. Our PDF file will display and if we look at our account number, we see that this was not the first account number in our data file. And of course, it's because it is sorted in descending order. And that was the first account number we saw on page one of the data file. So, our sample statement is now sorted by page in descending order using our account number as the sort key which is exactly what we wanted to accomplish.